the story of the tragic attack on the USS Indianapolis. The event took place on July 30, 1945. The USS Indianapolis, a BAD battleship, was sunk by a Japanese submarine. Many people died on this fateful day. There were about 1,196 people aboard the ship when it sailed, but only 316 people made it off the ship and safely out of the waters. Many sharks surrounded the survivors, all of them just hoping to get out of the water alive. The USS Indianapolis was delivering parts for the first atomic bomb to the island of Tinian. The first torpedo from the Japanese sub hit the ship and blew up the front of it. The second hit near midship and almost blew it in half. The ship sunk in 12 minutes. The sharks started attacking the survivors the next morning, eating the dead bodies first, then going after the living. Most of the attacks were from oceanic white tips. They were drawn to the ship first because of the explosions and then by all the blood in the water. The actual attacks lasted four days. The survivors grouped together hoping to fight off the sharks. Many of the survivors became crazy due to the fact that they had been stranded for so long. They started to hallucinate and drink salt water. The sailors who weren't bleeding tried to separate themselves from those who were. On the fourth day in the water, a plane flying over their heads spotted the survivors and called for help. Within hours, another plane landed in the water and then picked up the survivors. Of the 1,196 that were on board the USS Indianapolis, there were only 316 people remaining when they were found. After the attack, the U.S. government tried to court-martial the captain of the USS Indianapolis. They tried to do that because he did not try to use any evasive maneuvers. During the court-martial, it was proven that he couldn't have done anything after a long and hard-fought battle, not only against the sharks and Japanese, but also his own country. He was proven not guilty.